how habits actually work. After identifying all of your bad habits, it is natural for you to be eager to break them all quickly. But you need to be patient when it comes to breaking habits and forming new ones. There is no quick fix for this no matter what anyone tells you. Some methods work faster than others do, though. It is going to take time to break a habit and form a new one. The simplest way to define a habit is a pattern of behavior formed by regular repetition. It is an acquired mode of behavior. Let's dive a little deeper into this statement. Pattern of behavior. Habits are something that you do on autopilot, but they all have patterns to them. A good habit is driving a car safely. When you first learned to drive, you had to pay attention to everything, and it was probably pretty stressful for you. Once you learn to drive, you do everything automatically and just concentrate on the road. But it is not really automatic. You are just following patterns of behavior that you have learned and perfected. It all happens very quickly, so you could be forgiven for thinking that it is automatic. This is important to understand because it means that you can always break a habit. Regular repetition. This is a strong clue that it takes an amount of time to form a habit. You need to do it regularly and repeat the process. This actually takes effort in the beginning and you will need to apply effort when you form new empowering habits. Acquired mode of behavior. A good or bad habit didn't just turn up in your life one day. You had to acquire it. You made a conscious decision that you wanted to create the habit and then you put time and effort into it. Every habit starts somewhere. You had to learn how to implement the habit. Some are easier to learn than others. There is no singular formula for habit formation. Everyone is different. If you are someone that is naturally active, then going to the gym on a regular basis will be an easier habit for you to form than someone who is not inclined to do this. If you have led a sedentary lifestyle for a long time, then it will be much more of a challenge for you to form a going to the gym habit. Different habits require different approaches. If you want to quit smoking, for example, then this will require a very different approach to wanting to go to the gym three times a week. There is no single formula for habit formation. Don't believe anyone that tells you that there is. There is a habit framework. Please don't think at this point that it is going to be too complicated for you to break bad habits and form good new ones. There is a framework that you can use for new habits that will work every time for you. This framework has three parts, and these form a neurological loop in your mind. They are Remind, Routine, Reward. Researchers at MIT, the Massachusetts Institute of Technology, discovered the three R's loop. Their research showed that these three elements were essential in the cycle for habit formation. It is important for you to grasp this, as it will not only help with the formation of good new habits, but also with the breaking of existing bad habits. We will discuss this in more detail in the next video. Your habits define you. Here is something that you must know. Your habits define who you are. The routines that you run every day of your life are responsible for what you do and how productive you are and will be responsible for how you run your life and even your happiness. So the question is, are you in control of your habits or do they control you? The answer to this is both. You can always control your habits. This is what this training is all about. But remember that habits are powerful and once you establish them as part of your everyday routine, then you will execute them on autopilot. Your habits become a part of you and if you are not careful, they can control your life. If you have an alcohol or drug habit, then this can soon become an addiction that spirals your life out of control. It will take some serious commitment and effort to break a habit like this. But the good news is that it is possible. You want good habits to control you. If a habit is doing you good, then you want it to control you. People often become anxious about something controlling them, but this is not always a bad thing. If you have a habit of exercising regularly, then it is good to be controlled by this. The same goes for cleaning your home every week. Always finishing the things that you start, bathing every day, and cleaning your teeth morning and night. There are some habits that you need to be happy about having control over you. In the next video, we will take a detailed look at the habit formation process and breaking bad habits. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.